Hey everybody, I'm Bob, inventor of the super easy miter stand and the combination cross-cut miter sled, dubbed the Bob Sled. I want to say a big thank you to all of my new subscribers. I really do appreciate your support. And today's video, we are going to be installing crown molding. And I'm going to show you one technique that I use for coping those inside corners. Coping the crown is easier than trying to get a perfect miter in the corner. You have to measure it perfectly. You may or may not be 45 degrees. It's a lot of trial and error. This is a much faster, more accurate, better looking result using the methods that I'm about to show you. This will also work for installing uh, the inside corners of baseboard, for coping baseboards. So, let's take a look and hopefully you learn something. So that's a 40 grit flap sander. Costs about six to eight bucks. And I put that on my right angle grinder and start carving out the back side. Boy, this is a lot more comfortable than trying to run a coping saw up and down wearing out your elbow. You want to carve way back. You want to be at a real tight slant behind the crown because the other piece has to fit in behind there. So you want to go way back, but you don't want to cut all the way to the very edge of the profile. Leave it a little proud. Oh, a heavy pencil line. If you try to get perfect, you chance cutting too much. So we're going to finish out the detail in this next shot here. Safely put that away. Some spray adhesive. Put that on a short piece of crown and on the back side of some 80 grit sandpaper. Allow that to tack up for a couple minutes. And then start pressing the paper into all the little details of the profile of that crown molding. The flat bar really helps. Take your time and do this right and you'll get good results. Now I'm showing you the way that I sand it is in the upright position like it's going on the wall. That way I have a nice 90 degree corner and I can tell how things are going to fit together. I tried a better shot for the camera so that you could see how those profiles fit together in the corner like that, but that's really not the best way to sand it. It's difficult to hold those two pieces in the proper position and sand it. So I would recommend doing it upright on a uh, on a block. So there I am hanging it up on the wall. Let's take a look at the corner. Nice tight fit. Just beautiful. Every time. Take a closer look, and there you have it. Perfectly coped crown. Okay, well I hope you found the information useful. If so, please give me the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, share it with a friend. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. Uh, if you're wondering what that piece of trim is up there, that's uh, for the barn door hardware that's coming soon. So anyway, I hope you have a great day. God bless you. He loves you. See you next time. Oh, I almost forgot to show you these things. Now, FastCap makes something like this for, I think, less than 10 bucks on Amazon. But if you're hanging 
your crown molding before Amazon can get to you. These are a real cheap and easy fix. This is just a metal strap out of the lumber department and I've cut a slot in the side, bent it over at an angle, and I put a roofing nail up here, slide it up over, catches, and then that's where I hang my crown molding temporarily until I can tack it up. When I get about two, three feet away, I just lift up, slide it out from the back, out it comes. So there's a bonus feature.